What's up? Good day, good people. Today is January 1st. Happy New Day. Let me tell you how serious I am about my layers. It's cold, so being from up north, you gotta get your layer on. So that's one. Boom. Two. <laughs> Boom. So that's the super ego, the ego, and the id. And the id is the inner child. So, parents, family members, if you have younger female little girls, you can give them something that could represent something to remember you by. Say, you give them some hair accessories, and when they wear this one, they can think of all the things they look forward to in life. So, in essence, happiness is nothing more than something to look forward to. In simpler terms, it could be anything throughout your day. You could be looking for a moment of silence. You could be looking forward to the weekend. You could be looking forward to Wednesday. You could be looking forward to 4 o'clock. Whenever it is, it could be lunch. It could be something that you're cooking in the crock pot. And when you get home, you're like, oh, black eyed peas, what's up? I know somebody's making some. And then you'll create a memory and something sentimental. Pink, you could say whatever. You fill in your own blanks. I'm just giving you these things. Because there's always a memory attached to good times, good experiences. And then when they wear these, this may can remind them of their royalty and that they are the princess of the kingdom. And the blue can be for you fill in the blanks. Dads, moms, aunties, uncles. And it don't stop. So you're planting seeds of pleasant experiences and you're instilling hope in the new generations. And then they'll think of you, possibly, or they'll think of what they look forward to, possibly, or they have a hope and a dream. And even if it's not these, these are just an example. And little girls with their imagination, <laughs> They can have all, these could expand into all type of, whether they're superpowers, the warding off the, you know, the negative energies or their protection. They're always protected. The list goes on and on. The option is yours. Okay. The oculatum for today is, well, let's see with this open. Oh. This goes along with what I want you all to be kinder to yourselves for this new year. I ain't even show y'all all my layers. I'm going to get to those in a minute. Be patient. Be of patience about oneself. 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 Forgive yourself. Be kind to yourself. You, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone in the whole wide world can use improvement. Not just you, not just me. Children are just little adults. Some parents raise children. Some parents raise responsible adults. I'm giving claps, props to all the moms out there. Each and every last one of you ladies who has gone through that, I give y'all props. Mm -mm. I'm a horse of another color that I'm telling you right now. That's for y'all. Y'all have them. I'll be here to help y'all, to help y'all do something else. But coming out, 
a side of me, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> it's going to hurt. So, <laughs> oh, where's the thing I just said? All right, I'm going to do it on the next one because in that way I could title it. Amigo wanted me to tell y'all this story. I'm going to have to take off my second layer to tell it, though. Okay, so in the meantime and in between time, that's one layer. These are my Hello Kitty pants Miko bit holes in, so I had to put another layer. I don't know if y'all can see. No, y'all can't see. Well, that's three layers already off. So I can have these shorts on so I can tell y'all this story. All right. So here's the... See this jumpsuit? See how it's all ripped up? This rip in this leg corresponds with this mark on my thigh. Can you see that? Okay. Story time. Okay, there was these. This neighbor moved in two doors down from me. And he got some pit bulls, but I didn't know that until after. The one pit bull, Pablo, or Paco, or whatever his name was, I didn't know at the time. But he came and chilled with me one day. Big ass dog, big ass head. He was so gorgeous. He was gray. He chilled at my house in my garage. I put Mika in the car because I don't play them kind of games. I already had gotten into a fight with a pit bull in 2014 with Moses and Amigo. It was this whole thing. Yes, I, yes, a fight, a whole entire fight with a put about mine. Yes, you will have to go through me, and that jumpsuit represents the interaction I had the day after the dog chilled with me. The next day, he came back. Well, I was walking Migo, and then him and another dog came through the fence. But, well, I got another neighbor on this side of me, and um, they're Hispanic. And so the lady, we talk to each other, but we just, <clears throat> I kind of know a little bit of Spanish. You know, I know Ace Law or Pada Comera, you know what I'm saying? Como te llama, and como se dice, you know, a little, little something, but, you know. So we get along, everything's cool, and she was talking to me through a window, and I didn't really know what she was saying. So I'm just like, oh, yeah. And then I heard her say something about a dog. And I was like, oh, yeah, did you see that dog? He's chilling, you know. So I'm just talking to her. Next thing you know, as soon as I see the dogs coming through the fence, so she was trying to tell me to watch out for the dogs because I think one of them had bit their little dog buddy, which I found out after all this happened. But anyway, when I saw them come through the fence, I kindly picked Amigo up and put them, you know, put them up here. So the girl dog, Lola, she was trying to get Amigo like how Moses used to try to do when he was jealous and I'll pick Amigo up. Uh-uh. I had to put him right back down. I don't break a fight, but I don't get in all that. But I tell you what you will not do. You will, will not get to my Amigo. You will have to go through me, Lola. So meanwhile, Lola and them rolling up. And the boy dog, he's all happy-go-lucky because me and him's cool. I done gave him kibble, water. I done looked out for me and him. Then hung out, right? We cool. Meanwhile, Lola ain't having it. I'm waiting any minute for the cheaters vans to roll up. Like, dude, I don't even, I ain't got nothing to do with, first of all, I don't get into no shenanigans with those females about no man. That's not what I do. That's not how it's going down. But this little bitch right here, she want to play games. So now I got Amigo on top of my head, just keeping him out of her reach. Because she think it's a game. Mm -hmm. This is what me and Moses used to do. Well, Moses used to do. And I knew I wasn't going to put Amigo down. That wasn't going to happen. So I'm just enduring her trying to jump on me. And then the boy dog, he was really protecting me from the girl dog because she wasn't being aggressive. It's a game. She's playing. I'm I'm not afraid because I know dog behavior and I'm an animal empath. So I didn't have any fear. So she didn't sense fear. She think it's a game. Migo's not your toy. So Migo, he's ah, all in my hair. He's in my neck. He's... I'm holding him back from hurting the pit bulls. Shh. I'm protecting them from this vicious beast. I'm just walking 
walking slowly back to my house. My phone fell. I just locked that shit there because come on now. If the big boy dog wouldn't have been circling me, like stopping her from getting, you know, I guess if she could have got a good jump in, she might have could have, you know, had a good little reach. Meanwhile, I'm like, quit playing, you know, doing my little knee thing. I don't know if you can see. Like, put my knee to the side and, you know, block her like how I used to do Mo. So, Mo trained me and Amigo in certain ways. Okay, so anyway, they followed me all the way home. The boy dog, he's all, <laughs> he's all excited, thinking it's all fun and games. Lola, she's trying to get Migo. Migo's going dead ass off on these pit bulls. Y'all going all the way off. And I'm walking with one dog over my head, two pit bulls. One trying to jump on me. The other one is he is clueless. And then they're just innocent. They're like, I'm just in the middle like, okay. Then by the time I got to my driveway, I put Migo in my car. When I was coming back out, there's a car skid around the corner, stopped. He knew those was his dogs. Meanwhile, I'm all scratched up. <laughs> I'm just walking back out with them. They're playing. They're like at my garage. She's like, oh, so this is the spot. Oh, so this is where you was at yesterday. Oh, so this was where you was hanging out. I bet your ass won't be hanging out no more. I bet you she don't welcome you with open arms no more. And I bet you do. Don't be letting this out. I was understanding. He was cool. I got his number. He checked on me. I didn't, I'm not going to take him to court for my linen jumper from Contempo that I love so much. And then I just, it was just very convenient. But I have an 11-year-old client named Jasmine who is going to be making jump jumpers. So she's going to be a seamstress, and I'm going to get another one. I wasn't hurt. No one was hurt. I took one for the team because had it been a child or had it been an animal or had it been somebody called animal control or somebody had a gun. All the scenarios that did not happen. I'll gladly take that little... I don't feel no pain when I'm defending and protecting mine. I'm a child advocate, I'm an animal advocate, and I'm an elder advocate. Those who are defenseless and cannot defend themselves at times, that's who I'm here for. What's that? Did y'all get that oculatum? Did y'all get that story? Y'all gonna let y'all's inner child come out to play? You gonna be your own hero? All day, every day? Because see, a year is just a chunk of time. It's just a big pie made up of months, which are made up of weeks, which are made up of days, which are made up of hours, which are made up of minutes, which are made up of seconds. So every second matters. You'll never be this young again. And you will always be growing Hopefully and always, not just physically. Okay? Ooh, that's what else I wanted to talk to y'all about. What we talk about inner child. The middleman mentality is what I made up with regards to how people get caught up. And it starts with Mother May I. Remember the game you play? And then uh, Simon Says. Remember Simon Says? If you don't say Simon Says, you don't get to do whatever I spoke with, whatever. And Mother May I, they both have those concepts. However, there are also belief systems that say, you got to go through me to get, and then they siphon, excuse me, whether it's insurance, whether it's religion, politics. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Have a good day. Peace. What?